you know, I haven't seen to play uh, uh, at all. It looked like to me that I thought Jalen played pretty good D, but he, um, they called it, so I'm sure he did. And, and uh, you know, we missed I, – I could be wrong on this. I think our last uh, – uh, our last uh, uh, seven free throws opportunities, we were two for seven. Uh, Christian missed a front end. That counts as two. Bryce missed one. David missed one. And Marcus missed his only. And then to have us shoot it so poorly from the line uh, – uh, down the stretch, and then to have them, they, they shot it poorly for the game, but to, but to have, uh, uh, you know, their best player uh, obviously miss one uh, late, that was, yeah, we, were, we were fortunate, very fortunate, but the game should have never been in that situation, though, even though it was a, a great game and, and either team could have won, uh, uh, we had a chance to, to certainly uh, uh, put ourselves in a position where that couldn't happen, and then we, we almost really screwed it up, so we were pretty lucky. Hey, Coach, if, if before the game someone had told you that Oach wasn't going to score, how, how do you see this playing out? Uh, probably not very well. You know, uh, you know, Oach has been – again, you guys know, he's probably been our most consistent player uh, over the first five games. And, you know, he didn't, he, he didn't play as well today. And, and uh, you know, we had to have some guys step up. And I thought Jalen was great. I thought David's really good early, and Jalen was great. No child, I mean, uh, CB was good. Uh, Marcus was good and solid, and and then you know Bryce came in there in the second half, and I thought played very well. And Mitch also gave us some great minutes second half, uh, and Tristan did the first half. So we we had some guys off the bench play pretty well, even though it's kind of somewhat limited. Uh, uh, but to to win the game without without Oach uh, uh, having you know, having really a, an effective game, I, I think uh, does speak well for us. And we were in such a good position. And, and uh, I mean, how many times do we have balls in our hands and somehow they come up with the ball and get a, get a layup? I mean, that happened, that happened twice in the last 10 minutes. And David had the ball twice on offense, so on rebounds where we don't come away with anything because they, they, they were able to get it out of his hands. And, and so the, there, there were some things that we can do to play, I think, stronger with the ball. But for the most part, our guys competed their butts off the whole game. It was, it was a fun game. They're good. They're really good. Bill, what did you think of that last offensive sequence where, where you know, Bryce gets cut off by the hedge and then makes the pass to David, and David, David hits Jalen? Just, just um, what did you think on that? And, and, and for David to, to be willing to, to make that pass? Well, not only willing to make the pass, but to be be under control enough not to charge or not because the defender was right there behind him, and mm -hmm. and I thought, yeah, it was a great play. I, I can't remember uh, who threw the ball to him initially. Bryce, Bryce did. Bryce, Bryce threw the, and Bryce made a couple of really good passes, but Bryce threw the ball to him, and and then uh, of course David gathered and and played off two feet and and then found Jalen and Jalen knocked it down and and of course Jalen was terrific. I mean, unbelievable. But but uh, for freshman, it's just. Unbelievable, but but uh, that was a good. That was definitely a good play by David. Bill, what do you think of Marcus once you checked him back in uh, in the second half toward the end of the game? I thought he was pretty good. You know, uh, I thought he guarded pretty well. You know, Marcus is never going to be a standout guy from uh, from a point standpoint. You guys know that, and you know they 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 backed off of him, and he didn't get to the basket. But how about the last finish he had uh, when he did get to the basket? That was tremendous. Uh, uh, and we did execute. Uh, you know, we had a couple opportunities to execute late, and we we came away with basically with five points uh, in those opportunities, and, and that we just didn't get the stops on the other end because we found a way to kind of uh, uh, self induce some, some some negative things on the other end. But I thought Marcus was solid, and in the pass he made to CB, you know that that was that was a good play as well. Coach, I, I know you're. Busy during the game, obviously, but what'd you make of having fans in there? How'd that feel and, and look, and how did it all go to you? In your I thought it felt. I thought it. I thought it felt good. It felt like an NCAA tournament game because you know there were obviously fans from both sides. Let's call it like it is. Creighton brought, I don't know, five seven hundred fans. So so uh, uh, I thought it. I thought it didn't have the full home court that what we would have if it was all us. Uh, uh, and even at 2,500, but but I, I thought it was great. I, I'd much rather have the have the have fans from both schools and have not have fans at all. So uh, uh, yeah, I was happy about that. I, I was a little disappointed in, in you know and you know take this for what it's worth, and nobody probably cares. But but you know if, if our fans can't come to the games, don't don't sell them on on a secondary market. Uh, uh, 
uh, give them to a Jayhawk fan, sell them to a Jayhawk fan, call the ticket office and, 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 and let us pay you back for them. Hell, I'll, I'll pay you back. I will personally pay you back for the tickets that you, if you cannot come so we can give them to a Kansas fan. Uh, uh, but, but, uh, it, 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 that, that was, that was the only thing about it the day that was, uh, remotely, remotely negative, even though it was still great that we had people in the building. Bill, what's, what's this been like for you? Each game is, is different in the, the bench pieces maybe that you use and, and you know, who, who's your go-to score. Are you, are you really filling games out game to game, like more so than, than you have in the past? What, yeah, what's I, what's I, that kind of been like? Uh, I think it's been okay, but I'm, I'm, I don't have, I'm not settled in on anything. Uh, 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 you know, I, I want to play Tyon and, and, you know, he wasn't really effective in the minutes and get in there and then you get into a, a game and, and, and uh, which some other guys are playing pretty well and just decide to go that direction. But uh, uh, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's strange to me that, that we can be so much better uh, with some lineups against certain personnel and then with other lineups against certain against different personnel, we're totally uh, a better team if some of the guys that played so well against certain lineups are not in the game. So I think it's going to be game to game on on, uh, on who's in there and trying to figure it out. But I, th I thought for the most part, offensively, we got some good looks. We got what we wanted for the most part. And, you know, we just got to be able to knock them down. Fortunately, we did from beyond the arc. We just didn't do it from inside the arc. These six games, such a whirlwind, such a short amount of time, and, and you've talked a lot about not really having time to prep for five guards before the season. H how valuable will some practice time be uh, to that end, working on those lineups? And just, I mean, how, how high can that take your ceiling when you can actually work on it? Well, I think it'll improve us. Uh, we're not going to have a chance to work on it until after Christmas, you know, because obviously sure. we take tomorrow off and you play play Friday, Sunday, and then, then you'll take uh, Monday off and you're preparing for uh, Texas Tech. So there's no time to do anything until, until probably uh, December 27th or 28th, uh, uh, at least major changes. But, but we did a few things different today, and they turned out okay. We, they did a good job really hedging the ball screens, and we kind of slipped out of it and had some decent things happen out of it. We didn't take advantage like I thought we could, but, but – uh, uh, I, I think that we can get better at it. I, I think we need to be a team that can that can play both ways. And and uh, and uh, you know it was good to see David get off to such a good start uh, early in the game, and good to see Mitch give us great minutes late. But but playing five guards is is definitely a, a, a realistic possibility for us. You know for you know big stretches of every game. Sure. Hey hey Bill, you uh, went with Bryce late. He had that. Turnover, you kept him in the game. And then, obviously, he makes the big pass into David that, that leads to the three. Why would you trust him to stay out there after that turnover? Well, I, th I thought Bryce, you know, he, he Bryce is not uh, gun shy. You know, uh, uh, he's a confident kid. Uh, uh, I thought that Bryce could make a shot at putting the position to, to make a shot. I thought, he, I thought he defended very well. He, he – uh, 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 and, and he needs to learn and go through that because obviously he wasn't strong with the ball there. But, you know, it was just a game in which we were just trying to play the guys that were playing the best in that game. You know, uh, Oach, I had been over there a while, and it didn't have anything to do negative with Oach. But, you know, I, you know if a guy's going to come in and, and, and then be asked to make a shot or do something like that, and he ha hasn't been in the game for 10 minutes, I'm not sure that's the best position to put him in. So that's, that's, that's the reason why. Bill, what can uh, what can your guys do better to finish more often on layups? It's been unbelievable. Well, first of all, in transition, you got to make an extra pass. I mean, all you got to do is th you know throw the ball to the right guy in transition. And it's it's two points. Instead, we come away with nothing twice. Uh, uh, that, but we we just need to practice. I mean, this sounds ridiculous. We need to practice two on ones. Uh, we need to practice three on ones. Uh, uh, those should be automatic, and and, and uh, for us not to convert those is is certainly uh, uh, you know would make you know that that's a difference in shooting forty percent and shooting fifty percent just on converting you know three in tight. So we got to do a better job there. I, I also think that that we we need to drive to pass more. I think too many times that we're not we're not our standing height and such where when you go down there like Marcus the first play of this game. We tried to post him on, on, on their Marcus and, and uh, got exactly where we wanted to get it. But he shot faked. 
and allowed the weak side to come block his shot. You know, that, that's the kind of stuff that we don't need to do. Just catch it and go. And, and, uh, and we allow help to get there too often. And then we're not tall enough many times to play over the help. But, but uh, uh, it's things that we just got to work on. I think we'll get better at it. Coach, can you talk about the, the spark that Jalen brought to the offense? I think at one point he had like 12 points between the, the end of the, the first half and the beginning of the second half. Well, yeah, he was, you know, second half didn't start great, and he made a couple of – I don't know if he made two threes to start the second half, but I know he made one. Uh, but, yeah, he's he's good player, man. He's a really good basketball player. And he loves uh, right now how he's playing because he's playing everywhere. I mean, he's a – here he is, a, a guard or a forward or a center, and he's able to drive big guys or, 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 or uh, you know – play behind the arc with when he's got certain guys on him. He, he's, uh, uh, he's really doing a good job on the glass. Uh, uh, but, I, I mean, it's getting to the point where we kind of expect him to produce. I don't expect him to go four for six every game, but he has no fear, you know. And, and uh, that's, I, I didn't think he had, he, he had it, but until you've actually coached him once we started plays, I mean, this dude's got no fear. I mean, he likes the moment. And so uh, – uh, I look for him to continue to improve and, and give us more and more as we as we as we move along. Couple more for coach. Any more? Yeah. All right, guys. Good. Thanks. Thanks, coach. All right. You got See one. you guys. Somebody have one? You got time? One more? Yeah. Just just when you uh, you know we talked a minute ag- about it, but but when you look at that, um, the six games in in twelve days, and you know. Gonzaga, Kentucky, Creighton. I mean, you made it through that. Now I know you got a couple coming up right away, but but when you have time to look back on that, I mean, how impressive is it that your team was able to just find a way to grind through that with just one loss and 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 to look pretty good at most points doing it? Uh, well, not. I think it's impressive that we found a way to grind grind it out. I mean, especially after the Gonzaga game where we played such poor defense. Uh, and today's wasn't great at all by any stretch, but they're hard to guard. But I, I, I think that is pretty impressive that that we found a way to grind it out and different guys contributed in different ways. Uh, uh, but you know we can't take our breath now. You know, uh, uh, obviously you have two more games, but but uh, you know the games that really matter start what in uh, we play in Lubbock uh, on Thursday. I think start nine days. Is that right? Yeah. So, 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 I mean, we got a lot of stuff we got to improve on before we're ready to, to take on those first two league games. See, it was worth it, right? <laughs> was that? It was worth it, right? One more? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks All right, coach. Guys.